So it's great to hear another bispecific antibody, in this case clofitimab, has been approved in relapsed refractory diffuse large B cell lymphoma um, in the US by the FDA. Really good news for patients. Uh, the phase two trial that was initially presented presented a complete metabolic response rate of around 40%. Uh, and the number of patients uh, in that study were actually post CAR T cell therapy, so CAR T failures. And what I think is really helpful about bispecific antibodies such as glufitumab is yes, they have some toxicities, so low grade cytokine release syndrome, occasional but very rare low grade ICANs, and some degree of um, neutropenia. However, they're generally not myelosuppressive. And that's really helpful because when people have got through CAR T, they can have very low blood counts. And to have something that's relatively non um is, is, a, is a really um, useful option in our sort of pharmaceutical armamentarium. And I, I think more and more people, particularly in that relapsed post-CAR T space, which at the moment we have very few agents to help patients with, you know, that's I think where we're gonna see probably most uptake uh, of this agent initially.